Hello? Is this Australia? I have a problem uh, with uh, too much water and so many people in my country. So I am wondering if you room for me, my family, my friends and my relatives. Actually, it would be nice uh, if you give room for 20 million Bangladeshis. Hello? Hello? Bangladesh has 150 million inhabitants, but not enough land, and the available space is flooded at regular intervals. But global climate change means that the floods are more frequent and increasingly serious. So the proposals to solve the problem are becoming quite desperate. For instance, a serious proposal to move 20 million Bangladeshis to uninhabited areas in Australia. Unfortunately, there is no swift way out. A sustainable solution takes time and needs cooperation, so the most vulnerable people in Bangladesh will be able to tackle the consequences of climate change. It is not an isolated problem affecting only a small group of people. All Bangladeshis have experienced floods, both the normal, recurrent ones in connection with the annual monsoon season. And the serious disasters hitting more and more frequently. কাটতে <laughs> হয় <laughs> Nature's fury is a problem for all. Of course, a strong sense of community has always existed in the small villages. But it is difficult to find the energy to help more than your own family when the water reaches your neck. However, the old cliche to pull together is also valid here. Nobody should be left behind when disaster hits. And the way to achieve this aim is to organize and educate the rural poor. Dan Church Aid is therefore supporting the local NGO, RDRS. They build upon the village's sense of community and create a common framework and a clear division of labor for disaster preparedness. Because being prepared is crucial for the most vulnerable in Bangladesh. Just like Malika and Raki, for example, next door neighbors on the sandbar in the river of Brahmaputra. Sandbars like this, or chars as they are called, are small islands emerging in the river after a monsoon. They exist for a number of years, but nobody can predict if they remain there for two years or twenty before the river swallows them again. Overpopulation forces people to settle here because access to this sparse farmland suppresses their fear of the unstable foundation of the samba. Malika and Raki are isolated here on the sandbar. It is a long boat ride to the mainland, and who should inform them about how to tackle and prevent disasters? Knowledge is crucial for surviving the floods, whether on a sandbar or on the mainland. This is why much of RDRS's work is about imparting knowledge, and no holds are barred. <laughs> An example of basic knowledge. Bad hygiene results in diarrhea and other diseases. And during the chaotic days after a flood, such diseases often kill more people than the flood itself. If everybody understands that they have to use latrines and not just squat behind a bush, it will save a significant number of lives. Entertainment shows like this one are quite common. Here, RDRS supports the organization of local volunteer groups who present the messages so that everybody can understand. <laughs> 
যে এরকম সতর্ক হতে হয় যে বন্যা আসলে আমাদের কি কি করা লাগবে যে সবাইকে হুঁশিয়ারি সংকেত দিতে হবে And this knowledge is also communicated in many schools as a natural part of a teaching. RDRS supports these activities by giving the teachers disaster management courses and distributing teaching materials. What do you want to say? What do you want to say? What do you want to say? Yes. What do you want to say? Yes. What do you want to say? Yes. Do you want to say? Yes. 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 Yes. However, the pupils are not the only target groups. Tara shukna tara janto je borna amader amra kichu bachchader bolchilam je erokom borna hobe o tara tader barite giye alochona korche baba mar shonge. The annually recurring floods last several months. Therefore, last year the villages joined RDRS in order to elevate the foundation of the school by 2 meters. That way, the school became a natural base for the village when the waters rose. তাদের পড়াচ্ছি মানে কোনো কিছু সংকেত যদি আমরা পাই মানে বন্যার বা অনেক কিছু সংকেত তো আমরা পাই জানি জানতাম এইভাবেই তাদের আমরা জানিয়ে দিতাম যে বাড়িতে গিয়ে যেন তারা বলে Disaster preparedness does not require advanced technology. A simple but very labor intensive measure is to raise the level of buildings and roads so life can continue as usual during the long periods of flooding. With assistance and financial support from RDRS, Saeed Al Islam and his family are elevating their house. I can want to buy it out so so good to have to have a little bit of 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 a little bit But there is not enough money to elevate all houses and huts. Therefore, groups of volunteers are selecting the most vulnerable families and constructing wells and latrines on their land. These houses will then be gathering places for the nearest families when the water rises. Mr. Barkat and his wife belong to those who got the whole package. And the improvements are noticeable. Because the house is safe, Mr. Barkat can take care of his brother's cow in return for its milk. Not surprisingly, poor people are very vulnerable to nature's sports. That is why RDRS combines disaster preparedness with financial support through the concept of cash for work. Like here on Malika and Raki's sandbar, where the threat from the floods is much greater than on the mainland. Here the villages earn a wage for their hard labour to elevate their houses and construct roads between them. Working for free, several weeks at a time, is a luxury they cannot afford without risking going to bed hungry. But it is not enough to elevate the village physically. Therefore, RDRS is training the villages to educate each other. They also help them to organize committees in which the villages divide different responsibilities between themselves. In dangerous situations, it is crucial that everyone knows exactly what to do. Yes. She has been uh, selected Malika is responsible for warning the village in due time. For that purpose, she has been given a radio so she can follow the disaster warnings when the monsoon season gets nearer. <laughs> And the organization influences the traditional gender patterns in the village. Oh, Salak Munekare, Han Munekese, Ami the Gorel Konad Borisaki, and Amar is still to Nishawai the High, Chicaneza, she made in Korea, Maktar Kiu the Haina, Amar to Puriverke the High, Edeni to thank Kushi. Nobody knows what the future may bring. However, Mr. Barkat and Malika seem optimistic. Hi, Tor. 
কিছু শান্তিতে আসতে পারি যদি এটা থাকে আমার বাড়ি বাড়ি মেয়ে না আমি ভবিষ্যতে আশা করতেছি ভয় করিনি Dan Church Aid supports the strengthening of the ties that unite the local community, so that knowledge and organisation spread like ripples on water, even to the most vulnerable and isolated villages. Because alone, you cannot overcome the threat of climate change. You need unity. Hey! 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 Hey!